globalist social engineers are not just targeting us with propaganda. They are manipulating our genetics. We are being targeted at every level by estrogen mimickers that lower our testosterone and other hormones and natural compounds that the body needs. After consulting top doctors, nutritionists, pharmacists, and others, we have developed what I believe is the ultimate non-GMO organic super male vitality formula sourced from powerful organic herbs and then concentrated for maximum potency. Super male vitality was developed to activate your body's own natural processes instead of using synthetic chemicals. Super Male Vitality by InfoWars Life is so powerful that I only take half the recommended dose. For a limited time, we are offering 15% off Super Male Vitality at InfoWarsLife.com to introduce you to this powerful supplement. Visit InfoWarsLife.com today to secure your Super Male Vitality. InfoWarsLife.com. Why does the United States spend the largest percentage of GDP in the world on health care? Why do we have the highest cancer rates on the planet? The highest rates of diabetes, autism, and every other major disease. It all comes down to one thing. We are what we eat. Our food is devoid of nutrition and processed with poisons and additives. Our water is filled with toxic poisons and big pharma runoff. All of this has been engineered by design. We can turn the tide against the eugenicist by giving ourselves the nutrients our body desperately needs. To learn more, visit InfoWarsHealth.com. The site is literally packed with audio and video featuring top health professionals who don't bow down to Big Pharma. The fight against the New World Order starts with you, and you can't stand against the machine of your sick, tired, and obese. When you visit InfoWarsHealth.com, be sure and check out the catalog with nearly 400 life-changing products. And get free shipping when you sign up for AutoShip. This is Alex Jones for InfoWarsLife.com. The latest in preparedness is now here. An electrically stabilized colloidal silver solution that can be added to both your home cabinet and preparedness pack alike. Concentrated to 30 parts per million in what has been dubbed the Survival Silver Solution. The new InfoWars Life Silver Bullet Colloidal Silver is the answer for you and your family. And it's entirely free of toxic artificial additives that are loaded into many products. The InfoWars Life Silver Bullet Silver is so powerful that it is concentrated into a two ounce bottle and is not recommended for extended continual use. This is not a low grade formula. We are working with one of the top laboratory manufacturers in the United States to bring you the best form of colloidal silver using electrical processes within a base of deionized water for your preparedness storage or your home kitchen. Purchase your bottle of InfoWarsLife.com Silver Bullet Colloidal Silver today and find other amazing supplements at InfoWarsLife.com. Emergency Words will always retain their power. Words offer the means to meaning, and for those who will listen, the enunciation of truth. And there is very grave danger that an announced need for increased security will be seized upon by those anxious to expand its meaning to the very limits of official censorship and concealment. You now have sensors and systems of surveillance coercing your conformity. And Nobody is listening to your telephones. There are, of course, those who do not want us to speak. What difference at this point does it make? But we have to pass the bill so that you can uh, find out what is in it. The truth is, there is something terribly wrong with this country, isn't there? You do got a business. You didn't build that. Somebody else made that happen. How did this happen? Who's to blame? To remind the world that fairness, justice, and freedom are more than words. They are perspectives. to tyrants, his obedience to God, it's Alex Jones. Well, our Knoxville affiliate, WKVL, for us. Great job for those guys over at Knox Talk. We carry our show there at night and also live on the weekend for the Sunday transmission. Uh, we are joined by uh, the patriarch of the Bundy family, uh, 
uh, and we had his son on the broadcast uh, earlier, uh, Eamon Bundy. Uh, but Cliven uh, Bundy joins us now. Riding shotgun with us is Steve Quayle, just covering the really deep stuff uh, inside this whole New World Order takeover and what makes them tick and why they're doing this. I'm sure he'll have some questions riding shotgun with us as well. But we take you now uh, to Nevada, right on the border there with Arizona, where now over 300 armed feds are. Yesterday they attacked men and women with tasers, and the video's up on Infowars.com, and with attack dogs uh, for being on the side of the state highway on the property where they have the grazing rights. They have cattle crossing signs up right there, put up by the state. The governor has said, clearly this is grazing rights. They've been there since 1877. They have the foraging rights. Explain that to people out there. The government just declared it was theirs. And uh, the, the, then they taser his son over and over again, but he just pulls him out of him. That's the difference between a, a, a real cowboy family out there and rugged. I mean, it's hard to uh, make a living. People in Texas that have got East Texas, nice grass. You know, we can't even make you know, pay the bills uh, with, with cattle anymore because of what they've set up. And I, I've talked about that a lot, how they've rigged it with the big meat packers, putting the little meat packers out of business with the government regulators. Doesn't matter how dirty the big ones are. If you have one problem at your small outfit, you're shut down. Or even if it's a big outfit, if it's privately owned. And then they've, put a, they've cornered the market. And so it's at a record high price. People are going out of the business. System doesn't care. They'll charge you ten thousand dollars for a steak. You know, good steak used to be twenty bucks just three or four years ago. Now it's fifty bucks. Now, I remember twenty years ago a good steak was fifteen bucks, ten bucks. This is what's happening as they shut down the resources. Fifty-three ranching families out there all run out of business. This is the last family, and David Knight. Uh, Tell us what, what's happened since we talked to you two hours ago, and then I want to get Mr. Bunny to give us his take on the brutal assaults yesterday. But even after that, the feds had to back off because their tasers weren't working. So one of them ran over and body slammed basically a woman from behind. I've seen that where it's like there'll be a guy in a wheelchair and they'll just attack him. It's like some instinct of evil to attack the weak. I don't understand it. Uh, so, so, so give us any updates of what's unfolded. You're there at the Bundy uh, Ranch House, that I know there's snipers across the street and surveillance cameras. Uh, David Knight reporting from Nevada. That's right, Alex. We're here at the Bundy Ranch, and I have Mr. Cliven Bundy next to me. He is the man right now the federal government is uh, set out to destroy, but they will come for you next if you don't stand for your rights. And he and a lot of other people have gathered here to support him in his struggle with the federal government. I don't want to ask him uh, what he's heard, if anything, anything positive from any state or congressional figures. Have you heard anything positive from anybody that supports you? Uh, yes, I did hear from the governor of Nevada. He made a, a stand, uh, it's been a couple of days ago now, but he did say that he, he asked the federal government to take down the uh, First Amendment area signs. Now, these First Amendment signs are like... Uh, 50 by 50 foot pig pens that are, the United States has allowed us to uh, get inside of these pig pens and exercise our First Amendment rights. Now, our governor governor did do that much for us. <laughs> well, I still saw one of them as we were coming in. And as we were driving down uh, Interstate 15, there was one area. It was so small, and they had like an electronic sign said uh, media only here. And it was in the middle of nowhere. There was absolutely nothing that you could see anywhere about anything there. Yeah, you know, the media, I mean, what about the rest of our First Amendment rights? Uh, you know, we've got to go down the road and get in this pig pen before we can exercise it. But I'm thankful we can at least exercise our rights. Uh, now, there are going to be some politicians that are going to show up at about 5 o'clock this afternoon, our time here in Pacific time. And they're, we don't really know what they're going to say, whether they're going to be in support of you or, or they're just going to try to calm the crowd down. What do you think? You <laughs> well, I'm sure they're going to be supportive of me. And then when they go to the other side, they'll be support over there also. <laughs> That's what a politician is. <laughs> That's right. That's right. Uh, give us some idea of, uh, have you heard anything from the lady who was attacked from behind by the people when your son got tas tasered three times and some other people got tasered last night? Have you heard anything about her? Is she okay? Well, I know that, you know, she was a little, the smallest person there, probably maybe the oldest also, and, and definitely the weakest. She just got through with a, a, a 
uh, throat cancer for three years now. And here they come up behind her and pick her up and throw her on the ground. Uh, they could have picked on some of these bigger ones. But you know, but that's kind of the predator instinct, isn't yeah. it? As a, a pack of wolves, they usually single out the weakest and smallest of a. Yes, and you know they they don't start from the head; they start from the back end when they start eating, and that's that's exactly what these people have done. Yeah. Give us an idea, because we've had a lot of people that have uh, uh, criticized uh, you and said, uh, "Well, he's he's grazing on government land." Talk about the grazing rights and the water rights and. The fact that we have property rights that so we register in counties for our homes. You know, the first thing we need to make clear is who owns this land, and that's really not clear. You know, we have a federal judge that says the United States owns this land, and we have the United States Constitution that says Nevada owns this land. So this is where I'm I'm at. But let's talk about my grazing fee. Who am I supposed to pay my grazing fee to? And, uh, constitutional sovereignty of Nevada that owns this land, that's who I'd pay my grazing fee to, but no, who, the one I get the grazing fee bill from is the United States government. I don't recognize them having any jurisdiction or authority over this land, and I have not, I do not have a contract with the United States government. We were just speaking to a county commissioner from Utah, and he was talking about the fact that they're seeing the same things there. And the confusion is, is that you're not even working with one federal agency. You've got the BLM that says one thing, then you got Fish and Wildlife that says something else. So they don't even give you the same story from the feds. Oh, they got so many bureaus in this United States. Everything's bureau, bureau, bureau. Uh, they think they have jurisdiction and authority in many different places. I, I urge you, read the Constitution. Those founding fathers laid out how we we're supposed to act, and they, they have all the answers already laid out for us. Why don't we live that Constitution and be happy in America? That's right. We have the Tenth Amendment says that they don't specifically have these powers. They don't enumerate it in the Constitution. It's not there, so we haven't seen anything about that. But this is not just your fight. This is something that has happened. Talk about when they first initiated this attack against the local ranchers here, shutting them down, because there used to be 52 other ranchers in this area. Talk about what they did to them at that time. Well, what they did is they administrated, regulated until they can't, couldn't uh, ranch anymore. In other words, they broke them. They put those producers that used to produce meat for you out of business. You wonder why uh, beef costs so much? You know, you go to the Hamburger cost of it. Well, we used to produce that, and now these producers are gone. All, all across the United States, they've administrated, regulated and, until we give up. And I'm not giving up. I've seen some uh, information. Of course, there's a lot of developers that are allowed to build in this area, as long as they pay the government off for the desert tortoise or whatever, give them a million-dollar fund so they can put them into a, an area where they then later kill them. They've euthanized uh, about 1,400 of them, I believe. But there's also, isn't there a massive project that they're trying to put together about solar power in this area somewhere? Well, the solar power is just a rumor, but what they're, what they're wanting to do here on my ranch is create a uh, United or federal conservation area. And so that's part of the deal. In other words, there's a lot of, forgot about the tortoise. They're down there killing the tortoise, and now they got a new project. And so the tortoise is old, the, the conservation area is new. Well, because the long-range plan here is an Agenda 21 plan, where they make most of the United States off-limit to all humans, the rest of it highly regulated in a few concentrated urban areas. You know, that's true. You can see that Agenda 21 uh, blueprint here. For example, what they want to do is close off this area, and in order to close it off, I've got an invested interest. They want to get rid of my cattle and get rid of my range improvement, get out rid of my access rights, and then they'll close it off, but they won't close it off 100%. Remember about the First Amendment area? They'll give you a First Amendment area. Now, what they're going to do is give you a trail, a sidewalk down through this desert, back, and, back country byway, 51 miles, and they're going to say, Public, you have access to your public land, and here it is. Stay on the sidewalk and don't get off on the grass, or we'll give you a $500. And that way they can harass the daylights you know out of you. You know what happens there? It ruins the picnic. That's right. That's right. Absolutely, and they treat you like total crud everywhere. They don't want the scum in even the national parks and other areas uh, anymore. I mean, it is just total slave training. Now, I want to get Steve Quellen here with any of his questions because he's out west as well and has dealt with this BLM garbage. I want him to be able to ask a question uh, that uh, you can relay there to Mr. Bundy. But what does he make of these state reps that are showing up? They need to go over and get in the face of these feds like the Swiss 
federal reps did when we were